this tutorial, we will learn how we can work on the Generative Sheet Metal Workbench. First of all, let's open up Mechanical Design and Generative Sheet Metal Design. And let's name it as uh, Introduction. So, as you go into the insert, and you can see the different options in the generated sheet metal workbench. The first thing that you would notice in this workbench is that uh, unlike the other workbenches in Katia, every tool, as you can see, everything is frozen. So the reason why everything is frozen is because unlike any other workbenches, the first thing you need to do when you open up the workbench is to set the sheet metal parameters. So we have a icon called as a generated the sheet metal parameters so let's firstly set the sheet metal parameter as the thickness one and the default wind radius as two now as you click on ok you can see all the different options almost all the different options have changed its color to whatever color which it had before so in order to create a basic wall we need to have a basic sketch so let's start with a basic wall to create a basic wall let's go for the sketch and then specify the XY plane and then let's create a profile in this fashion Make sure that the profile that you have created is closed. Exit the sketch and now go for the wall and specify the profile and click on OK. So in the beginning when we selected and specified the sheet metal parameter, we had a particular value inside it. So we don't really have to, as you can see, the value over here will be applied throughout whatever model that you create in this particular file. So if you specify the thickness as 2mm and the bend radius as 3mm, click on OK, that particular value will be applied on our model. So initially, we'll go for thickness 1 and bend radius 2 and click on OK. Now, we have some more values or, or some more uh, specifications which we need to see in the sheet metal parameters which will be seen on the go in our this video. The next thing you can see will be the wall on edge. To create a wall on edge, go for insert walls wall on edge and then specify the input edge you could specify any of the edge what you can see here let's click here and as you can see a wall on edge is created as you see on the drawing or as you see on the model you can see different nodes so let's just try playing with this node let's try moving this left and this right so you can see the left and right offset is being changed in our uh, window and we also have an option to specify the angle and let's click on OK as you can see if you take a closer look at the model you can see that uh, a bend is being created but there is no relief so there will be a wear and tear over here. So for that reason, let's go ahead uh, and change the value of sheet metal parameter. Go for bend extremities. And uh, as you can see, minimum with no relief is selected. Go for a square relief and click on OK. You can see that uh, the relief value is being changed. Similarly, you have more relief values or more relief options as you can see here. You can change the length 1 and length 2 values 
to some other values and see the difference. So in this case, I'll select length 1, S1, and length 2, S2. Click on OK. And let's just go ahead and try another relief value. That's the round relief. If you click on the round relief, you can see that a radius is being applied. And you can change the radius by changing the L2 value here. That way you can change the relief value. Now let's see how we can apply an extrusion command. In order to apply an extrusion command, you need to have a basic sketch over the sheet metal body. So I've created a basic sketch here. Now, now let's just uh, go ahead and go for uh, extrusion command, inward direction. I'll just specify maybe a 15 mm. Click on preview and click on OK. So that creates uh, extrusion on that particular sheet metal. So that's the initial command. Let's see the remaining commands in our upcoming tutorials. I hope you enjoy.